Right, so, another video. I don't do many videos often, so this is an, exa um, an exception. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, okay, sorry. I was distracted. Um, right, so stream is running. Uh, what I have here is a ZX printer, and we all know that ZX printers are um, very fragile. Uh, mostly when you look at them, they uh, they break. <laughs> There's a uh, rubber belt inside. Uh, well, it should. It, it was rubber um, at one day when it's when, when it was sold or when it was made. Um, but nowadays those belts are all, all broken and they fall apart when you touch them, you know. And but anyway, this guy told me that the owner of the Setix printer told me that most probably it was just uh, um, just needed as assembly because it worked for two times and then fall apart. But uh, I told him, well, most probably it's just a belt. Uh, that's what I know from these printers and I have 40 or 50 of them in a crate somewhere waiting for um, belt replacements in the future somewhere. Uh, I hope they will ever arrive. Um, sorry for the noise. Um, let's put down the sound here. But um, I just wanted to open this printer to make sure it, it is indeed a belt and I want to be able to show it to him and uh, well maybe he's lagging maybe the belt is still working but i've never seen a zx printer in these days that still works with an original belt so uh, let's open it up and see uh, if it indeed um, the belt that's failing or it's something else and even the plastic of these prints are very very fragile so please be careful with this so first get out the roller and the, the, mech the piece of plastic for that um, some dust here that's not a big issue then be careful with the with unscrewing the the case because again if you push too hard it will break the plastic is made of very bad quality uh, material so be very careful with this i think we need four screws there for a top to come off we're going to need to open at the bottom i'm not sure which one which ones i should um, get out but i think only these four, so one, two, three, four. And so I just unscrewed this one, I don't think it's necessary, but we'll see. Okay, one doesn't want to come out. And now carefully open it up because the top part will come off when it's disconnected here, yeah. And oh, wow, the belt looks very gross. What the hell is this? And there's a one of the one of the yeah, there's a connector here that you can pull off. Oh my god, what happened to this belt? I've never seen this. This is the grossest belt I've ever seen, but it's broken. As you can see here, it's definitely broken, but I don't want to touch this belt. What the hell happened to this belt? Oh my god, look at that. I don't want to breathe this in. What's on this belt? It's white stuff. Look at that. That's gross. It, what is this? Are those bacteria? <laughs> Oh, I'm being very careful with uh, inhaling this. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, the belt is uh, indeed broken, as always. But I've never seen this before. This is the most closed belt I've ever seen. So if, if this is your first time using a ZX printer, this is not how I've ever seen a ZX printer belt. <laughs> it's really gross. Um, all right, um, there are two very small parts here that we need to save, and our rubber um, caps on them as well, so we will save these ones. There's another on that one here, but I don't want to dare to touch it here. Ah, man, it's ridiculously gross. I'm going to um, decontaminate this desk here. There goes one rubber piece here, and let's get the other metal part off. Okay, I will save, save these ones for the owner, and I will ask him if he wants uh, wants me to forward this printer to Iron Gladwell, who repairs them and has some belts. Uh, but I don't have one, and <laughs> this is about as far as you can get. There have been some people trying to revive these um, um, printers with all kinds of experimental uh, belts, but because the belt is not simply a belt, there are two um, sticking out pieces on them for the metal parts that I just pulled out. And there are all kinds of, um, what do you call it, uh, I don't know, uh, things that go in, in, in the holes here and in the, in the rings. So anyway, um, 
th these are a very specific type and uh, if someone will make them and I think someone in China is trying to um, produce them I'm not sure how far he got but in, uh, if someone makes them uh, he has to use the same pro um, produce uh, uh, the same way of producing them as the original ones were made by Sinclair um, still the printer will work uh, there's a UDA chip in here there are some capacitors which need to be replaced of course after such a long time and uh, for the rest the, the mechanism is okay but only the belt is the, the big failure here so um, well what, what can I say about this um, again it's not the first time I've seen this the, the, the quality of the belts is just terrible uh, it's made of some kind of rubber that uh, doesn't um, survive after 30 years so that's all I want to say about this so uh, thank you for watching bye